we are here. Um, and the reason we're here is because I think the cameras are now on and I'm going to tell you what I really think. Hi everyone, we're here to discuss the, the limits of free speech. Um, so where do, we, where do we agree? We agree that um, freedom of speech is absolutely important. It is almost paramount. And furthermore, it is, um, they should, it should, almost nothing should be legal. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about criminalizing freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it having consequences outside of the law. And one uses one's common sense and good sense and honor. Um, yes. That is presumably common ground. So where am I in trouble? You're in trouble because you're sitting across the table to me and I'm going to hand you your guts for garters, mate. That's why you're in trouble. You're in trouble because I'm going to win this one. But you are a reasonable man and I have heard that once or twice that I am too. So I think, um, let, let's say, where are the limits? Where, where are the criminal limits? Shouting fire in a crowded theater. I have recently returned from Glasgow, which in fact contained a theater where people died because somebody shouted fire. I believe there was a small fire, but the way it was shouted caused people to die. We both agree, don't we? There, there is a limit there. And yeah. saying, throw battery acid over somebody, and here's where to buy the battery acid. Yeah, incitement of violence. Incitement yeah. of violence. And you have merely I been... I think uh, sl slander and libel as well. Slander and libel, of course, is not criminal law. It is, except unless it's in the short period before a parliamentary election, in which case the criminal law applies to similar right. things. False statements about candidates. But they are, all, they're not criminalized, but they are, of course, um, they um, bear severe consequences. Right, We're not talking about In civil law. And that should remain. That's roughly where it should be. Um, if, if one tells lies to um, destroy the reputation of another or harm it, then yes. there should be consequences. We're, I take it that's common yeah. ground. So let's find where the barrier is, where the, where the boundary is. The boundary, to my thinking, is um, Carl thinks there's no other boundaries. And I think there are no other legal boundaries, but there are boundaries which are dictated by honor and good sense. Right. Now, that, that's, that's down to the context in which statements are made. Isn't of course, everything is. When I say, for example, that you're pretty thick, I mean it from my perspective. Go on. Your, your perspective as the genius of the table. Oh, certainly not. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, I mean, I agree with you. And I think that taking statements out of context in order to make judgments about them is to render them irrelevant. Which is what the mainstream media will do. And unfortunately, the public has a five-second understanding. If I cannot understand the in innards of a statement in about a quarter of a second, the general public probably won't get it in the, t in the bite, time bite responsible. So this leads me to another um, uh, barrier in this discussion, maybe, in that Carl, in the nicest possible way, <clears throat> actually forget it, we're in for freedom of speech. There is no nice way to say it. I mean, are you an idiot or are you an Islamist? Because what you've done, what you've done has made it hard for me, one of the best attack warriors for the slightly right of center, only slightly right of center, uh, movement um, to attack what I think is a major problem for this country because every time I do so the mainstream media starts talking about whether or not I need more beer so I might um, therefore be persuaded into raping a particularly odious uh, neighbor MP. I think the term I used was forced. It, it forced to indeed. Yeah. Yes indeed. I understood all the nuances. Um, um, while, while each of us is a bit of a foreigner, as we all are on this planet, and we share many things, for example, our belief in, uh, in somebody who peeps at us when we're in the toilet, and even when we're not in the Cornish village of squatting on the loo, um, we, we share many things, Carl. But um, what we, where we um, perhaps defer is um, the mainstream media still has a place for us. We can't n ignore it, no matter what your hit rate is. Well, I, I won't be so bold as to say I have made no, no mistakes, but there's something about being shown a red rag that I can't quite resist, especially when it comes to liars. This is confession time, Tim. Yes. Uh, liars, <clears throat> thieves, scoundrels, yes, uh, 620 yes. of them in Parliament. Yes, uh, well, I thought it was 650. 620, there are some decent ones. There. Oh, they're, they're, they're transitioning. How generous is Gender-wise, <laughs> or whatever. Well, um, um, okay, yeah. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I've made no mistakes uh, or have no regrets, but um, again, what I did was merely a bad move politically, not something legal. Merely a bad move merely. politically? <laughs> My God, man! There, there we have an admission but, from Carl. But again, bad I'm, politically. Well, listen, there's two yeah. there's two ways, mate. There's, there's the ballot box and there's the Kalashnikov. Fair if it's the Kalashnikov, you and I are out of the room, and even our 
very, very dubious video team who are not seen but are hovering behind the cameras, even they might not um, agree. So if we're doing it by the ballot box, then what else is there but political? Man, it's all political. And if we talk about Islam, Islam is politics. There is no division at all. We in the West have learned not to mix politics with um, religion because it only leads to disagreements. You and I are um, atheist agnostics. What, what term of phrase we use, I suspect, is uh, purely a matter of uh, context. I cannot be an atheist since I cannot prove it, but it seems rather an unlikely. But the, 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 the purpose of what I'm doing is to demonstrate that there is a demonstrable attack on comedy in this country. There's Absolutely. No, no, no question of it. Absolutely. And as untenable as certain jokes may seem, that we can categorize them as jokes means that they have to be defended. We are not talking... Right, there were, there were two categories. One in, one, in one, in the circumstance of your jokes from three or four years ago, and they were jokes, I understand them. I got them immediately, and I got them within about a second, even the last one, which had a few twists in it, yeah. as you said, forced to. And that, of course, allowed you, when the people protested, you, you, you were able to say, holding, holding up your hands in that innocent way in which you do, Carl, perfectly, in fact. Good Lord, do you want me to rape her, then? Good Lord, <laughs> how on earth do you want me to force you to rape her? I understood all of those things. Look, I do know that gullible is a made-up word found in real dictionaries. Not found in real dictionaries, don't I? So, but the general public didn't. And I, my, I, I am now newly handsome and um, I've lost a great deal of weight. In fact, um, bearing in mind I'm a bit younger than you as well, I suppose it's not fair for me to say I'm lighter than you. But if not for my newfound dexterity, agility, and um, poise, I, my nose would not have been the aquiline nose that I currently possess because a good walnut door was slammed on me. And instead of the usual racist, I swear, the loon behind it, this was somewhere in Mid Kent for the local elections, he shouted rapist. And you just saw the red, the purple rosette made. This is reality. On Viac Victoria Derbyshire, I got women on each side of me. Well, that's normally very pleasant, even if one of them's Boris Johnson's sisters. And they were showing me phones, oh, she's set up phones with all these rape threats and all of that. And, um, and I had to say, oh, tap, 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 tap. Uh, I promise you I have no such uh, interest in myself, irrespective of the supply of beer. But giving our enemy um, a, a stick to beat us with isn't smart, so I answer, I ask again. It. Are you an Islamist or are you thick? Uh, they are not mutually exclusive. I guess I'm going to in that. In that uh, oh, well, in that case, we've conceded it. Carl's conceded he's thick. So. Wow. Oh, Relatively yeah. speaking. Yes, Look, Carl, we are friends. Yes. Yeah, so viewers are not going to um, watch this and think I'm simply tearing strips of you for the sake of it. I, I do enjoy it, though. You do understand I gave up chess simply because to keep my um, appetite for um, blood back. Right. I, but the, but the, you, now your turn. Yes, the... Whether you like it or not, um, we're going to have to defend all manner of comedy, no matter how gross, and no matter how immediately offensive it is to the public, because it's not going to get any better, it's only going to get worse. Sure. This, is, this has been something on which some of our most impressive MPs have folded instantly. This is something that there is apparently no limit to, because all of politics at the moment wishes to be run like a cocktail party, and the country is not like that. The country is a lot more like me than like you. Um, now, that's a good provocative one. The country, um, do I understand that in, in saying that the country is really angry about this, but then so am I. You know, where was the difference? Could you expand on the last statement? Um, yes. So the... The country's had enough. Is that... Uh, it, well, not, not necessarily the country's had enough. I think a lot... I, I've had enough It's, it's, it's very easy for the media to, to lead people by the nose, because as soon as you say, well, do you find this appropriate? It's very, very easy to retreat and say, well, no, of course not. I'm... I'm on the, I'm on the, the, I'm being attacked, so I'll go on the defensive and say no. Um, but that just leads to us lo losing further ground. If Jacob Rees-Mogg can't, can't defend uh, Dankula when he's making jokes about Nazis, uh, I mean making jokes about Jess Phillips, where, where will the defense be drawn? Where will we make that defense? Where do we draw our trenches? I'm Not talking about, wire. here we, in fact, where we have, will we? We have common ground here because I don't want us to be defensive at all. Defense is very bad strategy. Attack is what I want mm. to do. Attack, attack, and yes. then when they're running, get the boot in as well. Yes. But, um, but, but done my way, there is no reason to defend because there is nothing to defend there. We'll be just smarter about where we hit. Well, I'm talking about hitting them smarter. I, I appreciate that. And Indeed. In retrospect. In retrospect, a valuable commodity lots indeed. Of, lots of valuable lessons have been learned, I promise you. Especially they're sounding like the police. Callum, I will listen to you in future. However, we... I oh, I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I wouldn't no, no, go no. quite he, that far. He, he did very much advice. But I... Uh, you I, double down, mate. I do like to double down. I like to push that boundary because at the end of the day, what I'm, what right. I'm saying does come from a position of fundamental truth. 
Uh, we have got to the point where we're criminalising... But, but come on, we're not trying to be collegiate here. We're trying to have a debate. And but no, this is I all really, common ground. I know, but I this is common I ground, I agree. this is genuinely important. Um, every time they mention it, we should say, why are you attacking comedy? Why are you attacking comedy? Why are you doing this? Um, we've when, come for the offensive people, we've come for the racist, now you've come for the class clowns. Where does it end? Um, well, Pastor Nee Moller didn't quite include that, but then he was dealing with a different type of enemy here. This enemy is in some ways more dangerous because it is more um, subversive, it is, it is cleverer, and it has read books like The uh, Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, so they know what not to do. Try to find where the differences are between us, because this is just common ground. I don't want to be defensive, I want to be smart in where we hit him. And I'd hit him and hit him and hit him. I mean... So look, where, where do you think the smart place is then? The smart place is to make jokes where, they, where, where you, Carl, two months later, are not in a position where you say, maybe I shouldn't have. Simple as that. I can't, I can't think of a thing that I've, I've done. <laughs> I've, I've, I've no point for should I've done that. Well, you just did it right now. Oh, no, no, I, I, no, no, I, I can't think of something well, that I've done where I haven't thought was that one. Perhaps what could have done, but then you know the, the, the general way in which UKIP is run. We run by the seat of our pants. Yes. And we, we are, we're good people and we're good folk, and there are really very few exceptions, and there are perhaps none left of the exceptions because they've buggered off somewhere else to uh, some make-believe organisation or the other. But within UKIP, we are um, flying by the seat of our pants and behaving like a herd of cats, which is generally a good thing. We mm -hmm. don't follow orders. That does leave us open sometimes to mistakes. And as the regional chairman of London, where I have to deal with the fallout of these mistakes uh, quite often, um, prevention is better than cure. Uh, on, on subjects like this, for example, perhaps when you were vetted, um, when, you were, when you were recruited, it should have t told you that we can answer all of these things with a very simple answer. I, would, I had no problem in answering about the stuff. Look, mate, these were jokes. Are you going to criminalize bad jokes? In which case, um, there's not going to be enough jails anywhere in the world for us. Yes. This is ridiculous. Are we heading in the direction of Turkey, where the deputy prime minister said, uh, perhaps you know this, that a woman laughing at a joke in public is a matter of public disorder, and if he was in charge, it would be criminalised. Oh, really? The same Turkey which um, um, occasionally is flirted with by the EU. Yeah, I did not know that. Oh, there's lots, there's lots like that. So, I'm a passionate advocate of freedom of speech, and I'm a passionate advocate of winning, not feeling good, and I think there we have the, there we have the nub of the problem. I think, Carl, you felt good when you said it, and feeling good is a, not a good judge of things it's it was it was not so much about me feeling good it was more so much about um about making the point i know and i appreciate in perhaps retrospect, the weather was not good yes i appreciate in retrospect that perhaps that was not the time or the place to make the point but in my defense i am an idiot so. Absolutely got it. So that, that's conceded then. I said you're one or the other. Now well, we can I explore. Am, Look, no, I'm beginning to think with that so, beard, the way that beard's going, mate, is it might be the other one, the Islamist. No, in that case, <laughs> I'm even more interested. Look, idiots are all over the place. Good, good Islamist. And by that, Islamist. I mean politically, politically <laughs> incorrect as I am, far more politically incorrect than you are, mate. Um, well, let, yeah, let's I'm say this, since you, since you mentioned Callum. Um, I, I have no idea who this notional individual is, since cameras operate by themselves in these modern, um, modern uh, post-Chinese days. But let's say there was a Callum and um, a Carl and a Freddy in a boat. Now, Callum being clear, clearly the wisest of all of them, since his, his face doesn't appear here, uh, and far yes. wiser than us. Um, uh, he's in the boat, and he, we, we've, we've unfortunately got drunk, and we've l dropped the oars, and we, we're going out for a lovely dinner, and we can't get our trousers wet, or too wet. Now, Callum looks very carefully around, and he gets out of the boat, which is a few hundred yards from the shore. Uh, do you know where this one's going? No, no, no. All right, good. And he um, walks on water to the shore. And um, Freddy thinks about it, scratches what's le left of his um, hair, and says to himself, ah, I can do that too. And there, thereupon, I too uh, walk on water. Carl says, I'm going to make a point. And then he walks, tries to walk on water, and he falls down. And Callum and I look at each other and said, should we have told him where the stones were? Think before you go in, at least five steps ahead, because that's what the opponents do. That's why there's not a chess set here, obviously. <laughs> Callum has been uh, prudent when you weren't. This is meant to be a ticking off. I want to win, mate. No, I don't want the, I I don't want the best answer. attack speaker no, I, that UKIP's got to I, be hampered by talks about Hitler saluting dogs, which I did suggest to the Southeast Conference, and they actually made it into a, a sort of a, yeah. a, a, a something they could sell in the shop. Yes. You know, a pug doing that, who's probably not too Nazi. Yeah. Um, and about um, the N-word, the P-word, the J-word, the Q-word, I don't know, the LGBTQPQX word. Her, her penis is peeping out of her trousers' words, and all 
also, of course, um, the retard things, which are cruel, but then a freedom of speech, look, you're a big guy, and so you can take it. So where I'm sitting right now comfortably, you're, you've got a victim face on, mate, and I'm starting oh, to feel I? sorry for you. Now, where's I? the Carl Benjamin tough guy? Well, I didn't realize I had a victim face on. You, you can't well, be well, having I, I don't, I don't. You're don't, on the defensive, don't, mate. You don't, don't want to be on the defensive. I Hit don't back. disagree with you. I don't. Good I don't, Lord, I've convinced, I don't convinced wish, him. I don't, I don't wish to strike you. I don't disagree um, with you. I'm not saying I'm flawed. I'm in no position to younger, since I'm younger than you, it would be presumptuous. It's, it's fairly evident for me to give you any ticking off. Well, I'm not in any position to do that. Be smarter is what I'm saying. I agree with you. Yes. But it is it is my job to cross those boundaries. Especially as a comedian, yes, but as a politician, set up. Let, let's tell you about somebody who used to be a client, a patron of my mother's father, a gentleman who died simply because he wouldn't go to hospital, mm -hmm. um, and he had a, what turned out to be acute pneumonia because he said the hospitals were for our lads. It was in April 1945. Mm -hmm. He died a few days before um, the collapse of the, the Third Reich in Europe and VE Day, mm -hmm. simply because he wouldn't go to the hospital there. He ran a fine arts shop at the back of the National Theatre, and um, he, one of his clients was um, General George Patton. Patton is famous for saying something which uh, perhaps you should bear in mind if you're throwing yourself in a sword like this. The job of a good soldier, because we are in a war, mm. is not to die for his country, it's to make some yeah, other poor dumb die bastard for die for... Yes. Exactly I'm so. Aware. So please do so. I mean, we provide but swords someone, and pushes. Someone has to be that first person to go over the top. Not with... That's, that's what we have fall guys for. Somebody... People who aren't in the party, who they can then hit the party with. I... I mean, well, that's... That's Patsies. A, that's a good idea, but I don't see any. And uh, uh, there was there was one who's um, currently, unfortunately, not at liberty right now. All ah, right. Okay. All right. He's a perfect one, so yeah. surely that should have come to mind. Now he's a gentleman who I do believe, and I'll be very much, um, I'll be very politically inc incorrect right now. I do believe he was convicted to, on on three counts, and he is guilty of two. Sorry, what was his case? I'm not familiar with it. The Tommy Robinson case, oh, of course. Good Lord. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. I, I miss it. Come on, come on. No, I miss it. There, there are more than, there's more than one centre of the universe. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's not just Carl, it's uh, him too. No, I'm pushing at that freedom of speech button. Well, again, but I don't... Like I don't, me, you're, you can't be faced. I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't, you know, I can't, no. You can't. No, I, no. I, I don't we don't we're have talking a about freedom of speech, right? I believe we're talking about um, wisdom. Wisdom there, wisdom. He was unwise. He could have achieved what he wanted to do. He brought up the matter of the verdicts. Um, in the previous trial, in, in trial number one, while trial number two was still in progress. The evidential part of the trial was over, but the jury was um, out deliberating. And if they'd heard this, that the verdicts in the first trial were clearly ones that would give some cause for concern to the defendants, that is clearly prejudicial. End of it. And why were they carrying prison bags? Um, not because, as some unwise people in UKIP have said, not because they were um, the verdict had already been passed, but simply because had the jury returned a verdict that day, they would have been immediately remanded into custody before they buggered off to Pakistan, where most of them um, had their ethnic origins, and one of them actually did while the trial was in progress, because the judge perhaps should have held them on, on, on in custody while the trial was in progress. Um, but so we have well, digressed. Well, Let's I'm, find the line again where yes, we are. Well, I'm, I'm, if you I'm, keep agreeing with well, me, no, no, Carl, well, then I'm, there's no point to this. I'm, well, I'm sorry. You have but to go I, back to the chess I, set. I, I, please make an unreasonable point. Make an unreasonable point. Hang on, hang on. An unreasonable one. So I, I, I'm not, um, I'm not in, in uh, disagreement with you about this. And I'm not adverse to taking my lashes either. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you. When the good Lord gave the gift of um, gay, gaiety, um, I was not given it. So lashing you will give me no pleasure whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. But I, I appreciate uh, you doing what must be done. Um, what would you think we can do going forward? Though? What I think is probably best to do is for this to be broadcast. You see it. You, you, you have no questions. You are a sane, decent family man. You are trying to push a barrier and you made a little mistake. Um, in, the, in a couple of months ago. Yes. Maybe in some people's perspective a big mistake, but bearing in mind these same people seem to think that it's perfectly okay for people to go out and perform gang rape and sex slavery of underage girls with collusion of the every element of our, um, um, of our uh, society, allegedly democratic society, as in the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary all co collude together, the police, Child Protective Services, councils, um, the parliament, uh, the um, media, worst of all, and turned uh, judges, lawyers, and all that, all turned a blind eye to it and sort of hide the elephant in the room. I'd say gorilla in the room, but I'm not as brave as you, am I? Perhaps I, I am. suppose not. We are different, though. 
But uh, there are many ways about doing this, and you, you and I know outside Parliament. And you, I, you make it very difficult to. Uh, I'm very to difficult to disagree with. No, no, I should you, be Prime Minister it's, already. It's, I agree. It's your charming manner. Good it's very Lord, man. To be Spec savers have a special deal on next it's week. It's very I'm, difficult to want to defend myself. Good grief, I've never heard that before. I'm sure my fellow candidates would uh, find lots to disagree with me. But, See, uh, why, why couldn't you have brought one of them? I would have, I would have happily argued... Because, they, you, because you'd have won, yes, Carl. No. That is the main reason why I didn't bring any of them. We are, I have yet to lose a debate, but I choose my debates. I do retreat when necessary, because the General Paulus uh, approach, and you know what I'm referring to, in, uh, when he was told by Hitler, not one step back, yes. and the result is... The w w World War II ended happily probably about two months earlier because a whole lot of Germans were encircled, destroyed, yep, yep. and so on. And all, all that happened when he was still not the, the Hitler ord Ordnung, which was mm. not to retreat. Sometimes you retreat and then you come back. Um, I, I know on the Victoria Derbyshire show, I did absolutely what was correct then. Say, look, there's nothing to do with us. We'll, we will certainly be looking into it. And he shouldn't have done it. It's a mistake of judgment. He was not making light of it, though. He's not. No, the no. subject wasn't. It was, it was it the was media, in fact. That I was making light of. And distortion by the media. Hey, distortion by the media. Perhaps I had an advantage over you, besides the fact that I'm good looking. Um, and, and that is simply that um, in my very early days in politics, if I'm in politics, politics, lots of nasty blood-sucking insects. Um, I, I did a hustings where I said, an eye for an eye le leads to a world full of blind people. That was distorted by the media into saying I wanted to blind Palestinian, <laughs> I wanted to blind Palestinian children. <laughs> they didn't last long so, because I Googled for my name and found this and uh, kicked up a, uh, kicked that, up a that's, stink. That's absolutely So remarkable. that was but a... But this, this, yes. this really is, um, just comes down to the problem, isn't it? I mean, what can we do about the press? What, what can we do about the press? Well, technology will give us the solutions, I believe, in the longer run. Technology is moving in, in the direction which we want it to move. And people like you and I, therefore, get a platform and not subject to reinterpretation by a lot of... Um, I believe there's a word which rhymes with bankers, but it doesn't quite... Can you help me? Oh, excellent. He's learned it. Good Lord. Tankers, obviously. They, they, they tank everything and they uh, distort everything. They lie, they twist, they dissemble, they um, um, prevaricate. And um, they do so and they're paid a damn good salary for it, which adds salt to the wound, doesn't it? I'm not sure what you were deploying at the MEP launch. Was it a double barreled, you know, when you... Um, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. So, but they but currently have do? the driving seat. What should we do? What we do is we take them on in debate, as I am doing, if it's on one-to-one -one or well, if it's one-to-one, -one, we win easily. If it's two-to-one, probably we win as well. And we sit over there and we're very collegiate. And I've seen you doing it there. You, you're doing it excellently when your defenses against them generally work. Your defenses against me have been a rather hard and nut. And I'm, I'm not I'm, trying to defend against you. Good Lord, I, man. Again, you, you defend against your enemies. I don't consider you an enemy. So. Uh, indeed, sir. And I'm most certainly not that. I want your skills and talents, which are considerable, and so on. And, of course, we, we understand in sort of Etonian sense when one, uh, when one says um, um, that uh, I'm much better looking, obviously. I mean the opposite. Please don't take that as an overture. No, this is very it's dangerous. dangerous. Um, but yeah, but, but, yes. so, but what should we do? What do you? What, what should do you we do? Because I'm, I'm not. Well, techn technology, in my opinion, we probably defer here. We'll take another fifteen years to catch up before we can actually replace them. I agree. We're, we're ahead of the curve. Because we're We're well ahead of the curve. And I've been doing this for ages. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a tech, I'm a tech freak. My, my money was made in computer software back when it was uh, right, hard yeah, to write. Yeah. And um, nowadays, the hardware is so fast that any, um, it's almost a no brain uh, to um, get it right. Yes. Yeah. And, I'm all about voting for brains, not necessarily for brain. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, indeed. So, so you are running for the leadership. Of course. Um, yes, indeed. It needs, we're in a hole. We've got there. There's a word again. It's, it starts off with cluster. And again, I'm slightly um, unsure what the next word is in, 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 in that uh, word. Is I've got a poor memory today. Can you help me? Are you um, trying to draw me out here. I'm not going to do it. Oh, you mean you want to come <laughs> out? If you want to come out, please do it on this medium. But I, I would tell your wife first. Okay. Indeed. Now, freedom of speech here, I've been pushing at freedom of speech in this interview, which is, of course, for the benefits of the camera. This has not been arranged at all. It would be below my dignity to do so, and it would be well below Carl's dig uh, uh, dignity to do so. Absolutely. This is entirely acceptable. Now, I've been pushing at what is acceptable baiting of a reasonable and decent human being, but I don't think I crossed the line. 
The media frequently do, and we know that, but we mustn't. We have the moral high ground. This gives us a great advantage over them. And when they can think they can seize the moral high ground, either by misrepresentation, because of course your joke really wasn't about that, your joke was about freedom of speech, and your joke was perhaps that perhaps if we were carrying out a Miss England competition, the person who won it wouldn't have um, a first name which rhymed with Fess. Um, that is uh, probably mm-hmm. likely. Now, I think I kept to the right side of it, and we still got some laughs out of the, um, okay. this hypothetical Callum who we've invented. I mean, no one's called Callum nowadays, is there? Such a strange name, isn't it? It's a strange name. It gives one, uh, gives one, gives me the heebie-jeebies. But um, <laughs> we can, we can laugh. We can make our points. Well, Why I... didn't you choose a topic to hit? Why didn't you choose instead good jokes about um, what those um, rapists get up to? You know, when they're exchanging collegiate jokes after they've done the fifteen-year-old. That would have been acceptable because that's a target which is there. Yeah. Now, you're not afraid of getting killed, are you? Not terrible. I promise you, there's no heaven. Uh, there's also it's no. never crossed my mind. There's no um, 17 camels, three young boys, yeah, and four no. virgins for you to have, or whatever you, the current you, numbers You make are. it sound so appealing, but um, no, I'm not terribly worried about that. Yeah, um, same here. I, I actually I actually think that free speech is probably not necessarily the most important topic that we need to do following Brexit. Let me ask you this trick question, Carl, because you're, 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 you're much brighter than I am. Let's say we're trying to choose how to prioritize things. You, can, you have some things that are um, important. These are very important to do. These things are very difficult to do. These things are easy to do. These things are um, very small, and you can do a lot of them together. These things can be done simultaneously with these things. You've got all this stuff here, typical businessman's decision or businesswoman's decision. How do you choose which ones to do first? It depends on what else is around you, doesn't it? You do first, Carl, what you need to do first. Well, obviously. Obviously. And what we need to first is get out of this goddamn EU and anything which makes that less. Because simply because it doesn't matter what else happens. Uh, honestly, no, if, I think that uh, mm-hmm. at this point, there's very little that we as UKIP can actually do about that. And why do you think that is? Uh, let's explore I, freedom of speech here. There well, is yeah, a leadership I, contest. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think this is regarding uh, freedom of speech. I think this is. No, it isn't. No, I think this is just regarding the current state of the chessboard. Um, there's no question that Nigel Farage has money, influence, name, and a cause. Uh, and an excellent he, political brain, and he took and the he opportunities is. when he Absolutely. saw it, he saw it, he saw the weakness, Yes, he, he has the name, he has the party, he has the, Indeed, the movement, the, he has the money, there's no way that we can compete with this. And what does UKIP have currently, apart from you and I? Um, I think it's got... An, a lot of others, too. Yes, yes. It's got, got, it's got a, it's got a very wide-ranging manifesto. But we're but, thick, aren't we? <coughs> That's what the media says. Well, that's... Yeah. Would you mind? Good Lord. Mm. You wouldn't do that. Would I can't believe, I like can't believe they would. Absolutely. Um, but I, I honestly think that essentially what we should do is uh, retreat, regroup, and decide what it is we're going to do after Brexit, because this isn't going to last forever. Yes, I have a feeling, too, that's something which approximates Brexit, which meets the six tests yeah. of um, which you keep set for Brexit uh, is actually going to be delivered on or about 31st of October. Yes. Um, the reason for my believing it is not because I think that um, uh, the Boris is a good guy. I have direct knowledge that he isn't. But um, it's he's, carpet, he's a self He's a carpetbagger. He jumps onto whatever. He had two speeches, one, one for Brexit, one for, uh, one for Remain. And yes, he chose yes, the one yes, which yes. he thought would make him prime minister yeah. um, eventually. And yeah. perhaps he was right in this term. It's simply because the prospect of a Corbyn government is terrifying today. Yes. I'm not sure whether it's ta- looking at strategy. You, you, you said you don't play chess much. Uh, what's the difference between tactics and strategy? Tactics is what you do. Oh, believe this is all one-sided. Yeah. Tactics is what you do when you know what you're doing. Yes. St- strategy is what you do when you don't know what you're doing. So let's take strategy here. <laughs> strategy is, uh, here the strategy would be, <laughs> let Corbyn take over, and in yeah. five years, in five years, um, like Labour will be unelectable for another 20. Just as happened with the previous uh, shower, when um, oh, they, they just won't be, it, it, it'll be gone. However, I don't want that to happen because the guy will. Um, the damage will, the, the the damage will be appalling. Yes. And given you've got a few more years ahead of you than I have, I don't want to be living out my twilight years 15 years from now, um, uh, well away from the UK, which will have probably been bankrupted by Labour in five. We, we know, we, 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 we Frankly, I think bankrupting will be the least of our problems. Um, let, let, let's take something controversial yes. now. What's your view about Scotland? I've just driven back from there. Absolutely wonderful, beautiful land. Uh, I'm not going to say despite the... Despite the... Uh, well, 
It's a wonderful land. I don't know where you're going with any of your statements. <laughs> oh, you're just being prudent. Some people, an older Carl, would have said, except for the Scots, maybe. But I didn't want to say that know. because I, I've oh, met we many, wouldn't say something. I've like met that. many Scots, and they've always been lovely. To me. I've always said. So, I've always said. Um, so we don't know where they, what happens to the ones who go to the ballot box, though, hmm. um, because an old member of my branch said we should have actually encouraged them to go independent. They'd have gone well, bust. I don't actually have the. I don't actually have an opinion on Scottish independence. I'm. I'm very much pro democracy. If they the, want, if they wish to leave the union, that's their choice. The union has worked wonderfully. Perhaps I, we should get a vote too in this matter. Well, I know because um, there was a, a survey done that uh, it was done in England, and the, the English wanted to kick the Scots out. Exactly, we've had enough. So we paid, we paid I, yes. too much for enough time. But I, 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 I don't yes. think I could, um, in good conscience, advocate for the splitting up of the union. Absolutely not. It's worked for 300 years. Yes, it's been very it's successful. Well. It's been successful. Yeah. And Scots, the Scots, as Scots scientists have contributed out of proportion, if anything, mm -hmm. to the population mm -hmm. differences. Um, but, but an elderly member of my own branch in North London, mm. my own UKIP branch, uh, had came up with a wonderful line. He said, um, perhaps we should have encouraged them to go. They've gone bust since they're all dependent on the oil price. The yes. first blip downwards, yeah, yeah. and then the wee egg and salmon and yeah. all that. They're, they're absolutely clueless. These people aren't yes. even socialists. They're goddamn communists. Yes. So, of course, they're going to go bankrupt at the whole thing. And then you could buy them back at a quarter of the price and have them as serfs. But that is what he said. <laughs> now, he is allowed to be politically yes. incorrect. And I would merely say, I am horrified by that statement. Yeah, because I'm, I'm pretending to be a politician. And I'm not really laughing, other than I'm smiling at you yes. laughing. Right, yeah. But that is the prudence thing. Mm. We need to be like that notional. Callum walking on water yes only because he knows where the stones are and perhaps this is where I could say to you that I would recommend young man that you take up chess because that's where you get into an awful lot of trouble in chess very quickly if you don't think ahead and plan ahead it's all about planning it's not really like life because life throws a googly all the time but it's a bit like yeah. I think um I think with any any movement there's good and bad that comes out of it and Absolutely. it's inc incumbent on you the way you pivot on any particular situation uh, there's a right way to pivot and a wrong way to pivot in fact usually there are many wrong ways to pivot and i think that we do pivot in the wrong direction when we start agreeing that perhaps they have a point and therefore we should be in positions where we don't need to agree with them um, I'm going to uh, remind you of the old... If, if only if you believe that we don't have the strength to pivot, say... We, we we'd like to adjust it slightly. But, but ones where we've just been wrong, I think we just cut loose then. Okay. It was a mistake. It was a mistake, so no. what? We, we all make mistakes. One particularly bad one. Who died? Who, who got hurt, really? Yeah. No one did. Um, a few ruffled feathers. But of course, we live in the carnage of London. At least mm. I do. You have more sense. And mm. in the carnage of London, with the dick in charge... Uh, uh, Cressida Dick, you, you oh, almost, no, no, tem I, you I, almost I, tempted I, me there into no, a political... No, 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 I, right, I, I, I'm I, far more politically incorrect I, than you, sir. Well, with the dick sorry. in charge, there's a car and there's a dick and there's an hippopotamus <laughs> yeah. somewhere or the other lurking over there. And we, 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 the, they have diverted 900 officers from frontline duty mm. to patrolling the mm. internet for hurt feelings mm. in London alone. That's just the Metropolitan Police, mm. not even the City of London Police in it. London has two police forces and no chief constable that has a commissioner for each of them, as you probably know. So this is ludicrous. And this is a huge infrin infringement of freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. So, um, can we explore some other things to dis disagree on? Because we're currently we not doing too well. We're, 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 we can. Yeah. What, what I don't want us to retreat like on to... anything. I just don't want to be in a position mm -hmm. where it is sensible to retreat. The Churchillian Ch Ch never, never, the, the four nevers, yeah, the never, 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 never yield to superior force and all that, and all that is caveated by him in that same speech with except in matters of. Honour and good sense, and there's no honour and good sense about talking about beer supply and that wretched Labour MP, who is, by the way, uh, what I would suggest you do is just make a statement as you would, and uh, uh, people believe you because um, because you tell the truth, is that probably was a mistake. And um, however, you're just angry. It's only allowed to be angry. Um, uh, and the the anger is that this this she seems to have something about men. She um, I saw her bashing was, her head was, on the table. It was it was, it was, it was not about her. Stuff. I think people people make her far more the focus, important than she is. Far more the focus of this than she needs to be. It genuinely was about the media. Um, in fact, it was implicit in the the way I'd formulated my statement. Uh, for for example, if, if 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 you're going to force someone to do it, then you can hardly blame them because they are not the one with whom the was responsibility a very lies. Work. Um, and but I you know I appreciate that at the time in the context possibly a step too far but again surely that's why you have me oh you mean to you're push the... those barriers <laughs> um, 
That's a novel concept, but but it's cheaper for the party to have somebody slightly outside it. We want you in because you have, um, for all all the good good reasons which uh, drew me to you in the first place, that you're good and competent. You have a, you have a message that gets uh, across. That you have courage. You have um, foresight. Occasionally going wrong, but then um, so does mine. Um, if you talk about my defects, then we'll have to have something more than a twenty nine minute yes. twenty nine fifty nine second batteries on the on the cameras. Um, so, um, what, what could we do? Yeah. Where we are right now, maybe yes. a, maybe a, a general statement by you about um, what led you to it, mm. um, and that's face to camera. That would probably be a good thing. Okay. And um, when they talk about what um, disciplinary action is taken, because that's what they're babbling about. Of course, if they've just stopped, then maybe we don't do anything. They might have just stopped. I mean, currently we're at one percent, sadly, and we have a, they're not. Um, we're not even getting interviews. I'm having to. Um, prod them quite a bit to get any airtime whatsoever right, okay. because they think they're politically irrelevant, which is terrible. And when some of my fellow candidates say they're going to just have more of the same, uh, somebody as naughty as me say, well, you know, you can't just have more of the same simply because if we went down from 24 to zero, I mean, please, we can hardly go from zero to minus 24 as time progresses. We can't have more of the same. Right. So what do we want to move on to next? We've got a battle to win, and it's a thin purple line, and I'm not sure how we can possibly um, win it without being smart right now. Well, I, I honestly think that um, it'll have to be a, a different subject after Brexit. Yes, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's... And freedom of speech is not a big enough one to no, make us I the agree. main plank. It's I one agree. of an ancillary number, number of platforms that you've got. It, freedom is a big word. Freedom to do things more, not have a nanny state and a socialist state. Yeah, We're heading towards socialism. Freedom from. Absolutely. In, indeed so. Mm. And... Um, my own view about any extremism, it's just pretty thick usually. Yeah. And um, Marxism killed a lot more people at a faster rate than anything has for a long time. Oh, yes. Let's ask you something to find a division. Oh, yeah. And you have no idea what's coming at you. No. Uh, uh, nice Google. Would you have said, given, the, given human nature, is Islamism, which I'm using as a pseudonym for everything we don't like about religion, we are talking atheist to atheist here, yes. so we, we don't buy into any yeah. of this stuff. No, no, no. But, um, uh, I do, do say that relativism between religions is a dangerous concept. Um, I can tell you that there must be some um, extremely radical Jains out there who won't kill particular types of insects, but occasionally raise the veil. You know, these, these many of them will wear veils to stop inhaling uh, insects. Oh, did they? I didn't know. They're that. That's peaceful. The Buddhists surely were aware that when they built them um, for the for the Dalai Lama when they built him a theatre in Lhasa before the Chinese uh, evicted mm. him, um, they dug with forks to avoid killing any earthworms when oh, they were wow. putting down the foundations. How thoughtful. Now that is an extremist Buddhist, however, do occur, as the Rohingya yeah. Muslims yeah. from uh, Burma would say. Every religion can. But in the actual religious text, in um, the New Testament, mm -hmm. in um, in the texts of Shintoism, Confucianism, Buddhism, which is the Buddha's path, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, a host of other influential or large religions, there is no incitement in that religious work mm. to take for the for the person for man to punish for sins against God. Such punishment is reserved to God mm. in hellfire or whatever. Such pleasant things as are found in many of them, mm. but not for man. Here, some religions, the other two Abrahamic religions, differ in big time. I agree. And so I'm not here being um, uh, um, particularly singling out Islam because the same things occur in um, Judaism. But having studied, as we all of us atheists no doubt do, we mm. closely study religious works um, in order to walk on water. And yes. uh, I can say that in the Quran, um, there are at least 120 places where um, man is required to take onto himself the punishment of other men for sins against uh, the religion. This is very dangerous. Yes. I'm happy to answer to God, wherever she is. I'm rather less so to uh, man. Yes. 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 And being a physicist, I know as well, I cannot possibly fly. No matter how high I flap my arms, they will remain arms, not wings. Mm. And um, the relevance of that is obvious because... Um, we are not um, dealt with as harshly as apostates are, mm. we being um, homosexuals or, um, or non-believers. Um, we are simply thrown off from a high place. Now, the vast majority of Muslims, we both know, pay any attention to this rubbish. They, they, they're not interested in it. They, they ignore it. 
But it's the very few who do are able to point to verses, no matter what tricks we play with tafsir. Mm. Do you know what tafsir is? No. Abrogation. Oh, that right, means where you, yeah, I'm, I'm you say this cancels off this wasn't, and so, this one was later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. I wasn't aware of, of the Arabic yes. phrase, but I'm aware of the concept. Tafsir is opposed, opposed to takfir. Takfir is lying in God's yes. name. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Um, as, as required in some cases. Um, but but um, we... Um, Abrogation doesn't really remove most of these, but most Muslims pay no attention to this. They go on with happy lives. They're motivated in exactly the same way as I am. They want to have happy lives for themselves, their children, more prosperous, more secure, whatever, and they don't give a damn about what's written in some holy book. Yes, here's a controversial one for you. The hate speech laws, which we do not like, we Mm -hmm. absolutely do not like, and we don't approve of any any sort of infringement on this. They currently have an exemption for any work which is more than 100 years old. At the time of utterance, not at the time of the passage of the law. I believe it's at the time they are uttered. So anything that's more than 100 years uh, old, um, it it cannot be hit by that. There are other things relating to gross indecency and so on, all all of that. There's all sorts of other criminal offences. We we have Brother brother Blyer, Tony Blyer, brought in uh, about 1,800 new crimes he introduced during his uh, reign of terror. Um, And no doubt some of them would cover it as well. But these specific ones, would you remove the exemption? Uh, I wouldn't remove the exemption. You'd remove, remove the, law. The, law, the law itself, of course. Hey, this man gets it. Gets, yes, well, gets I, everything I, I, right. What a, what a silly question. What a silly question. It, it's the law itself that's the problem. Yes, indeed. Um, we've got. Um, um, well, here's a, here's another worrying one. There's recently a petition on the Parliament.uk website, which the last time I looked, it had um, well over a hundred thousand signatures. I know which one you're and talking you know, about. Yeah. Your turn. You tell the, us. The, you're you're talking about the one that seeks to criminalise blasphemy against Islam, aren't you? Um, Probably I'm, not in so many being, words, uh, but uh, being, yes, not in so many words. Yes, yes. It, it is not specific to Islam. No, but, it's, but um, that's what it's meant for. Because no one's going to be criminalising um, blasphemy against Christianity. Indeed. Now the format is is available as to who signed it. It's mm. it's anonymised. It's pool data, yeah. but it's it's stored by parliamentary constituency, yeah. and you can actually access the JSON data by simply clicking on the link oh, on the page. You? I didn't and there's that. also a map page. Really? Now. I'll let you into a great secret. I'm I can imagine where that is. Very was mischievous. I'm very mischievous, but I'm also good at maths. Yes. And we have, there's a human tendency to, to make links where there aren't any. Mm-hmm. For example, the um, sturdiness of the, the table, which I am uh, currently mm-hmm. testing, is probably correlated to uh, something like the, some butterfly wings in Malawi or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who knows? Some, some, some nonsensical stuff, which has no causative linkage, yeah. just some associative linkage. But um, to compare two maps of opinions, mm. there are mathematical tools to do it, which I didn't have to invent. If I'd invented them, though, they'd have been exactly the tools that I used, because these are just common sense statistical tools for arriving at correlations between mm-hmm. things. They're not suggesting cause causation. They're simply showing a correlation. Yeah. And um, the map which shows who signed the petition, the petition to effectively criminalize any criticism of the prophets, right. praise be unto them, yeah. correlates very highly with um, the allocation of Crown courts, which have had significant numbers of cases, and we're doing it not by just counting by cases, we're counting mm-hmm. it by the number of convictions for gang rape and sex slavery. Nothing wow, less what, serious. What a coincidence. High correlation. Could you explain I why? Would, I wouldn't even dream of it, because uh, anything I say might be politically incorrect and might get some... I don't to stop again. you being politically incorrect. <laughs> I want to get you smarter at it, damn it. Um, no, I, I think that. that's an excellent... Let me tell you that. 85% excellent. of perpetrators, and I have information mm. which I am willing to back this up. Unfortunately, I'm not saying this in Sweden, yeah. um, um, despite the Nordic nature of our uh, interrogators who are off camera. Um, they... Uh, <laughs> Um, well, we're all mixed, you know, in some way or the other. Oh, yeah. Indeed so. Um, we, we have, um, in Sweden, it's uh, truth is no longer a defense mm. if it causes offense. It is absolute, even provable truth. And this was used yeah. about in, in information about the nearly 10 times looking at the worst, est- sorry, the lowest estimates and nearly 100 times looking at the most increase in rape rate mm. in Sweden. And somebody said this and he was attributed to immigrants, which is what the police said, and he got fined 3,000 kroner, which is more than a, more than a couple of bucks. Oh, wow. Uh, mm-hmm. Indeed, and this was not more than about three years ago. But we are in Britain yet, and I will say that 85% of the perpetrators of these sex slavery crimes, I'm trying to be very objective about it, and mm. where I'm putting the threshold in, so I'm not 
making it fit, mm. are of Muslim ex- extraction. And 85% I think you mean of the 85 Pakistani extraction. No, 85% of that 85% oh, okay. are of Pakistani right. extraction, at least. Yeah. But that, since I don't wish to have my collar felt particularly, mm. remember I am, in terms of political incorrectness, politically incorrect as it comes, mm. at the Court of Appeal. Where I, which I attended with full, uh, full intention to um, make some sort of point, mm. but not to go to jail because I wished to be on the right side of the law. Mm. Um, I waited till the court was adjourned, and then I loudly said, while the Lord Chief Justice of, um, and the two other Chief Justices of Appeal, I'm sure I've used the correct terminology here, would have heard it, that it is not the individual who should be afraid of the state, it is the state who should be terrified of the individual. Because the first conviction of Tommy was just wrong. There was no due process, and I think it's the simplest reason. It, the judge was angry. Yeah. He was furious because he could see this having to be have a retrial. And so the, the, what happened later is a different matter. This was the court of appeal about a year ago. So I think um, I, I think my own credentials in speaking out for freedom, in, in defending freedom of speech, that that is very important. The usher told me I wasn't to leave the court, and uh, uh, you keep a, a county chair who had asked to attend then realized perhaps why I'd asked this to her to attend, in case I was hauled off. And then she could give the news to others, Freddie's been taken down to the cells. Yes, yeah. But uh, there was no contempt because the court was not in session and the judges were just outside, having just left. Um, would you have done the same? Um, or did you want to see your kids that night? It was a difficult one. I wasn't absolutely certain. I wanted to it's it's not... Uh, the, the obvious um, principled answer is as you've already laid out. Uh, the, the question is, would I have been brave enough? Um, Maybe you're foolish enough. There was no jury, enough. so there was no question of yeah. anything being prejudiced. Um, they, Tommy they, might have even heard it if the video feed was yes. still on. He was sitting there, you could see him uh, sitting at a desk, sort of fairly yes. dejected. Please note, I'm not part of the Tommy, no, 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 Tommy, no, no, Tommy no, no, Brigade. I know, I know. Uh, my last hero was Batman, and I was even younger than you then. The, 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 uh, the, the, uh, the thing that I'm deliberating over is not whether I would have been foolhardy or brave enough to do it, or whether it was even the right or the wrong thing to do. Um, it's about giving an honest answer. I'm not sure. Um, yes, it, I'm not sure. It, it, it really... It, I, would like to th- I would like to say that I would have done. I would like to think that I would have done. But I think that whenever it comes to the, the, the moment of action, it's always... Yes, and this was highly provocative, because mm. remember mm. what this appeal was about. Oh, yes. It was yes, about yes, 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 yes. conduct outside, yes. and this wasn't outside yes. Yes. a minor Crown Court in Leeds. Yes. This was outside the centre, the Royal Courts of Justice in the, yes. in the Strand, and Court Number 6 yeah. or 7 or whatever. I think Ezra Levant had had already he'd scuttled yeah. out because he was yeah. going to he'd yeah. scuttled yeah. out because he was going to have it, but the other people all looked around at me and thought, oh my God, what's this guy? What's yeah. this guy going on about? But that is the nub, isn't it? All about our law, our criminal law, is the interplay in two forces which have widely different powers. That mm. is the state and the individual. We cannot have uh, ones where the state has no power, otherwise we have anarchy and it just doesn't work, at least at this stage of human development. Please disagree with me about that. Well no, I agree with you on all of this. I, on, you, I've uh, been making these points for years. Yes, <laughs> good. I must have bike, but uh, two two reasonable people can. What am I supposed to disagree yes. with? You're making sense. Say something which I'm likely to disagree. With. Um, I haven't done too well on that. Okay, so the the thing I think that UKIP should be most uh, forceful about uh, the very day after the Brexit referendum is a physical cap on immigration. Thirty thousand people, no more. Good Lord. Sort of what sort of left wing bigger to you? Thirty thousand. We shut the gate now, mate. We count the ones here. Make damn sure that the ones here should be here, and chuck out all the ones after due process who shouldn't. Of be course, thirty thousand. Why some sort of arbitrary cap? The cap right now is zero. Uh, we have it. Look, mate. Well, the, the, the cap of thirty thousand was just uh, this this spec savers thing again. Ten percent of what we have coming four. in. Ignoring uh, city-states and drawing an arbitrary line of about 15 million population or something, saying anything below that's too small. Um, England is the fourth most densely populated Mm. country in the world. Mm. Only Bangladesh and South Korea and Taiwan are above it. India is less densely populated than England, and every fool know India's got too many people, especially Indians know it, and they will say it. That's a number one public concern Mm -hmm. for Indians. Um, so this is, uh, neither country has large lakes, and there's no question about what the area is. So we, we, we disagree. I'm too much of a moderate. You're too much of a moderate on things, indeed. You, 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 I lured you into that <laughs> one. But just be smarter about being less moderate. Yes, I will. Um, indeed I will. so. That, that, that's all that I'm saying. I, this one. I, 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 take, fallen, I take your I point I would entirely. not have fallen for that one myself, because I'd have seen what was coming, mm-hmm. what they would do. Again, when you've had... Which was the one that I fell for. But sometimes it's not... Uh, I know. So, sometimes it's not necessarily about that. Sometimes I think... 
But there, there is, there is value and virtue in saying, I know what you're going to do, but I'm going to do it anyway on the principle that you shouldn't be doing this, even though it's a direct deficit to myself. Um, yes, I wasn't taking any, there was no suggestion know, to me in self-interest on this. I, I, think I don't that think this one was, was such think, an example. I, I, I think that, um, I think the same goes for Gerard Batten with the appointment of Tommy as an advisor. I, I think in, in much the same way as myself, that was uh, not necessarily, the, in fact, it was probably the right thing to do, but the wrong time to do it. And I undoubtedly stepped into that. As situation. a man with um, children, you will know that timing is everything. Yes, yes. In every I sense certainly, of that I word. Certainly, I in certainly, every sense of that word. I certainly have um, learned that. But now, the notion of Callum is grinning because he's, of course, misunderstood and thinks it's smutty, wherever, whoever no, Callum no, 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 is, no, 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 this creature but, uh, of our imagination. <laughs> but then I, I, I do agree with you on many things and on, on this as well. But I, I do, I do too much. I'm I, starting to get I, worried. No, no, then. I, but I, I do also think there is. If you think like me, I think there is a certain virtue me. in being that kind of um, maverick. bullheaded maverick. Yes, um, but I also agree that there there are lessons to be learned. There are but, times but, and places. But I am just the same in this. I, I do believe in pushing that boundary. Yeah. And um, my style in playing chess, for example, some people chess is not like life. Chess is complete information. Life is oh, incomplete. Yeah, it's a closed, it's all, yeah. yeah, everything's there. Just a couple of bit more in, bits yeah. more information apart from what you can see on the board, mm -hmm. uh, and you have everything. And this yeah. is not what how life is. But uh, my general tendency, because I don't have time to play to learn all these openings and all that, you spend ten hours a day and all that. So yeah. all crap, boring stuff. And I have poor memory anyway. So what I do is play like. Well, I'm not allowed to use the word like, words like crap. Am I, Callum? Um, no, I think you are. No, I'm not. Um, uh, fine, I won't use crap then. Um, I play complete nonsense in the opening and then throw a great big um, pile of um, bull excrement onto the, onto the chessboard, mm. um, which is bad for me, but I will find my way better out of the complications than other people do. This is, this is the equivalent of being a maverick and using your considerable brain power to outwit your opponent. Mm -hmm. Watch as he sort of tries to talk himself into telling you that you should be forced to um, commit certain types of crime, yes. which of course you have no intention of doing of whatsoever, course. absolutely not, which is why any legal action would fail against you. The legal action would be that you have, you have been smarter than the, than the um, clods who perhaps were considering this, if indeed the story has any legs whatsoever. Uh, possibly when, just said when, when speaking to them, it was uh, remarkable how little they knew about anything that I was saying. Is some animal being killed in the background? I Can think they might be, but indeed? I think uh, we're also being told that we're going to have to wrap up. That might um, well be the case. But. Um, so, um, so so to, to summarize from my perspective, I believe I have taken your point and my lashes. You're a reasonable man. And I'm very scared you keep saying that I you're know, thinking like I, I know, do. And, Please and, don't do that. And, and I shall certainly make sure I'm wiser in the future. That is a very noble statement. So uh, um, what more can I say other than it's been a pleasure there, <laughs> and I am stronger. Jesus, there's, there's you no are. sense, there's no feeling, mate. God, that's just staggering. Now? Should I start? No, no, we're all right. No. <laughs> Good. Thank, Thank you. you, Carl.